Hey guys, press the bell, comic book university in Star Wars, issue number 32. This is the Screaming Citadel, part four of five. One more to go. In the meantime, this one gets pretty hefty. This one gets hefty indeed, indubitably. We see that the queen isn't playing around and she's actually drinking Skywalker juice at this point. I know that sounds really sexual. Not quite. She's got, it's almost like that, that device in uh, Monsters, Inc., the, the scream machine that sucks the scream out of you. This sucks something out of you. And apparently she doesn't want the flesh of Skywalker damaged or anything like that. Just She's basically sucking out the life essence of Skywalker. No, nope, that still sounds really. That still sounds really sexual. Anyway, all that aside, seriously, Han winds up getting infected with one of those egregious little uh, uh, parasite things. Oh, the Wookiee goes nuts and kills one of her lieutenants. Starts going through the village, goes into the Screaming Citadel itself, and you start understanding why it's called the Screaming Citadel because there's nothing but screams in there. Doctor Afra takes her um, her device and what she'd learned, and she goes to leave. Uh, she also, on her way out, uh, we find out that. Uh, the queen is actually sending somebody to make sure that they shoot her out of orbit. So that's good to know. We'll let you off the planet. We didn't say we'd let you leave orbit. <laughs> so I guess you got to be really specific. It's like the wish spell in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Anyway, so she uh, she goes to leave and the, the Jedi artifact itself, the Jedi holocron starts talking to her and says, listen, you feel nothing but guilt about this. I think that you better go back and, and fix this because, you know, you were kind of a jerk here. So she does go back. Now, even though uh, Han gets infected and he winds up becoming one of those parasite, you know, super dudes and whatnot, and they're all trying to kill each other, Dr. Aphra is ridiculously smart. She is a doctor after all. Now, what she does is she realizes that the queen is actually infected by these things also. And uh, what do you call it? Dr. Aphra also realizes that these things have a hierarchy and power. So whoever's the most powerful will actually be in charge of everything. Now, Luke is a bastion of power, just not control. He hasn't untapped his true potential yet. But Dr. Aphra recognizes this. So what she decides is she's going to infect Luke. So now Luke, being more powerful than the Red Queen, is now the king. And there's about to be a battle. So, yeah. That's that's absolutely crazy. Guys, I'm going to give this comic a B plus. This was really good, and I'm loving the horror aspect of this. The whole new lore, the new myth that's being just p p very politely shoved inside of this already expansive galaxy and beyond. This is really good. This is the kind of... You know, I know everybody was all sorts of worried about Disney taking over. Dude, the House of Mouse is kicking butt as far as I'm concerned. Whatever you're going to say about The Force Awakens, Rogue One ruled. I think that the next two movies are going to rule also. Boba Fett story, Han Solo story, all this good stuff that's coming out, guys, including this story right here. Really, really good stuff. All right. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.